this was supposed to be a work vlog, AKA driving around with Zach, helping him with sprinklers, but we have been getting way more rain than usual, which is amazing. So he kind of has a break and uh, that gives me time to work on other stuff around the house. And if you've already seen my other videos, this is round two of cleaning some of the barn. So a little rundown, this is the barn where they keep all of their equipment. So it is packed full of stuff right now. And uh, it's also where I get to keep my kittens and my cats at night so that they don't get snatched up by coyotes and other predators. But cats are disgusting and uh, you really can't be too careful around cat mess because it's, it's really nasty, it could be really toxic. So I just got three new kittens from a feedlot. They're black little cute, oh they're so cute. Um, I have them all playing outside and over by the house right now, but um, I'm gonna clean up this corner for them and I'm gonna do my round two of take baking soda, a bunch of vinegar, water, and I'm gonna mix a little bit of this cleaner in there, and Dawn dish soap, and you mix it all in a bucket, and that can help with like cat urine and feces smell and all that stuff. So that's what I really need to do. I like doing stuff like this. A lot of people think it's disgusting, but it makes me feel better to know that my cats are in a clean spot. I dumped a little bit more baking soda in there than, than I should have and it turned into a science experiment and exploded everywhere. So now the whole floor is getting clean today. <laughs> Good start. Oh my God. This is hours after that last clip. Um, you will not believe how disgusting the other side of this barn was. I'm about to go open the big doors on the other side so that we can air it all out because it's really gross. I know that things like Febreze and detergent really don't help, but it's like for my peace of mind, if I'm gonna work in here and walk around in here and just be in here, I want it to smell good. Try to shimmy our way through this really full barn to try to get to the other side so I can open this freaking door. Oh my gosh. We got everything in here right now. The downside of having barn cats is that they like, they're so annoying. They like find every corner they can as, you know, to use as a litter box and it's really annoying. open I can kind of show you what I did so I've been working back in here I mean it is like such a toxic nasty smell but I had to clean all back in there this is kind of where we just like have all of their sprinkler parts and all of that and I just want to keep it really clean so it doesn't look like much it's not perfect but I cleaned back in there too Tried to get it all disinfected. And now my goal is to just get it nice and good smelling so that when they work in here, it's not disgusting, which I don't think I could ever help that. And I don't think men care about that, but I do. And if I'm gonna be in here, it's gonna smell good. <laughs> okay, now that we're done over there, we're gonna head back over here and Clean everything. Oh my god, that scared me. I'm standing right under the sprayer booms. Hopefully that helps a little bit disinfecting it and cleaning it up. I'm going to come back over here. And that's the cat corner. And I'm gonna clean that up. I brought sturdier gloves this time because I broke like 40 pairs of gloves. I'm trying to aggressively move tires and all sorts of stuff, but 
Barns are like impossible to keep clean. And I'm starting to understand that now. <laughs> These are much better. Into the next door shop because now I'm going to uh, air hose these off. Got my tripod in the other shop. So I have to set you up like this. Come on, cuties! Kitty, kitty, kitties! 